During Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we have shared the uplifting stories of survivors who are now cancer free. But part of raising awareness about this disease is facing the harsh realities of it too. About 30% of women have a recurrence and must cope with treating late stage breast cancer for the rest of their lives. These women find great solace and support from each other. And that's the focus of tonight's in-depth report. For Sandy Kugelman, breast cancer isn't a temporary condition, it's a chronic one. This 47-year-old single mother of three has stage four breast cancer, the most serious type. Once a week for the past five years, she's settled into a chair at Texas Oncology for chemotherapy. I think one thing that really shifts when you have stage four disease is that when you have to come somewhere every single week, um, it's no longer this place that you smell and you say, oh, I'd, I would never do chemo again, I can't do it. Now this is what's keeping us alive. <laughs> There's something else that keeps Sandy going, the friendship and fun she finds spending time with other women who have stage four disease. They call their support group the IV League. We learn from each other how to live with this disease because it's by all standards not normal to be living with this stage four disease, but we do it. And, and we do it in a way that somehow creates a different kind of normal. So we look around and we see each other and we say, yeah, me too, I'm doing it too. This sisterhood is up front and center on the current art bra calendar to benefit the Breast Cancer Resource Center. Sandy poses in a tailor-made bra that shows she still feels beautiful with only one breast. She chose not to have reconstruction. I was allowed to pose in front of the Capitol with that, which was really exciting. And the bra is called Celebrate Choice because we all make different choices. They're all valid choices, but none are less or less beautiful than the others. But when it comes to treatment for stage four breast cancer, there is no choice. You get treatment or you die. And you live um, with the sword dangling over your head because you don't know. I mean, one of the things that the doctors will say is um, to many of us is that it's not a matter of whether or not your cancer is going to come back. It's a matter of when it will return. And that's the reality. So what we always hope is that the virtual medicine chest of medications, drugs that exist, will stay a step ahead of our cancer. And that's a really scary thing. When you start to see the back of that medicine chest and you start to see that maybe there isn't anything left, that's really frightening. That fear doesn't stop Sandy from living life the only way she knows how, full steam ahead. She works, mothers her children, and mentors other women facing late stage breast cancer. We get very close. It's a, it's a hard community to be in because we love each other very much. And when we lose people, it's, um, it's, it's devastating. Our hope is always for research, more research, so that we can put an end to the disease or at the very least treat it at a, at a level that will help people to live much, much longer. For more information on the Breast Cancer Resource Centers of Texas or the Art Bra calendar, just look for the BCRC logo on our website, weareaustin.com. And if you'd like more information on breast cancer or to see the rest of my in-depth stories this month, click on the big blue eye and look for the pink ribbon.